If you guys aren't familiar with him, he is host of the podcast, a podcast as well as many War Divisions videos. He's very prominent on YouTube and he makes very good guides. We are going to be talking about the anniversary right now and King Esper, I have my Martinelli's right here. And what do you my, have for us? I got I got the Corbell ready. We're going to we're going to be shooting it off for the 6th anim, anim, anniversary. If you could if you could not Here break the mirror. Um <laughs> I'll try not to break it. Is it gonna, did you shake we'll it? Wait, 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 did you shake it first? What is it? Go in here with the with the popcorn. <laughs> so you guys can all join in with us to celebrate the 6 month anniversary. So as soon as it pops, we're going to yell happy anniversary. Oh, it popped. Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go ahead and pour. I wish I had a wine glass right now. I wish I had a champagne flute. I realized that it must have either broken or lost all of my champagne. So th for those of you guys that know me, I can't drink. So I am drinking sparkling apple peach Martinelli's. What are you drinking, King Esber? I'm drinking some Corbel champagne. And I'm actually, is that put good? A little bit of, is it good? It's champagne. Of course it's good. Mm. I was not a oh this is strong i was not expecting <laughs> <laughs> some strong sparkling cider there. i was big. not expecting the peach to be like um like uh bitter <laughs> it's good though flow? it's good um king esper why don't you tell everybody about yourself and uh where they can find you and all of that so you can find me here at king esper comics on youtube this is a man who's prepared I'm prepared because I've been watching all the community before you, and I know what everybody has been into and what he's what they've got going. Yep. And the S bar has a Z in it yep. instead of an S, so that you guys can all be ready for it. I do a lot of videos on characters, so what I do more is I kind of I love tower the tower events that come in this game. The things that require you to actually turn off auto battle are the things that I love most in this game. So I'll have to end up hooking up with like, Prodigy and those other guys and actually doing some live PvP. But what I found in the beginning was it was like Mediana ruled all with her high agility and going in there and bombing everybody. And then once Orlando came out in the first tactics event, like his his little lifesteal thing would just rule because he had ranged and lifesteal. So I kind of fell out of that a little bit more. And I really went into the guild battle aspect of things because that's where I wanted our guild to go was into the guild battle aspects of stuff. So I, I go in, I've got seven different accounts. So I pull every character. Jesus Christ. My heart goes out to you, Dick. I'm sorry <laughs> that you didn't get Eldira. Like, I'm really sorry. That's okay. Because I don't know if you've seen my video or not, but I pulled her on the very first I don't, pull. I don't want, why you, why you come on, why you come on my stream and do this to me? You know, you know, I've actually, um, <laughs> there, there were people coming onto my stream telling me that the other day. And I was literally like, oh, my hand slipped and they are, quietly <laughs> muted for 600 seconds so i'm not salty at all next thing you know you're going to tell me you got her on an mr plus poll um no i did do the 2000 <laughs> i did do the 2000 banner poll but it was on the very first one I, I shot a gold book and i was like oh maybe i'll get her on the first one and for sure i just have to shout out real quick before we jump into the content you guys uh soul surfing mama v in chat is my real mom you guys so make sure you flood the chat with at soul surfing mama v and loves Give mama some love that's right she is watching all the way from hawaii she is always on my streams my mom has been there for like 10 years so you'll see her uh shout out to hawaii and all of that and that is my real mom so let's get into the content i know div said tower 3.0 just came out in jp i didn't know that did you know that my wife's in there somewhere. Your I wife's in there comment. as well. Yeah, I saw her comment in there. What, like, what's your beginning. wife's name so we can shout her out I too? Think, I think she's. I think she's Kara Seventeen. Kara, there you go. Kara's in there. There's Kara Seventeen. If we can shout out the wife, does your wife know how much you spend on War of the Visions? No. <laughs> she knows how much time I spend on War of the Visions. <laughs> with, all, with all the free accounts, it's the only way I can afford to pull all those characters. There you go. So you alternate between the seven free accounts. Yeah, I, I alternate and they alternate between them. 
I stack them up because I want to make videos for you guys where every character is 99. Yeah. Every character is maxed out with the JP. Yep. And then, yep. And then be able to experiment with those. And not only does that give me the insight of knowing how to battle those characters, but it also gives me the ability to make videos for you guys to where I can I can go ahead and make those character videos and be like, oh, this is how this character is used. And if you turn these skills off or on, like this is how you can manipulate the AI to do what you want it to do. Right. You're very so, high level play in a way. Yeah. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the AI aspect of of manipulating the way that 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 works totally. <laughs> I, I love like just like getting down to the nitty gritty. And if no one has, if anybody doesn't have Mont, totally MLB, that TMR is the most key thing in this game that I cannot like the easiest thing to get that I cannot stress that that is like the best TMR just for, to get um, for your account. Just adjusting like ability cues and yeah, yeah. yeah, just for making some of your people sit back for like that first turn and not having them run up and get absolutely slaughtered. So that's uh, for sure. What are you most excited about? Ow, sorry. My cat just bit me. Um, <laughs> you have way too many pet sticks. <laughs> what uh, are you most excited for with the upcoming anniversary? So there's two things. Honestly, my personal excitement is for um, Rune Knight Stern, the Hatred Prince. Okay. I love I love that man. Ever since I saw him in the first um, story quest with that golden armor on, I was like, oh, I got to have this guy. They need to release a character so you version like, of him. You love the Edgelords. Like, you were like Team Sasuke in Naruto is what you're saying. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so I've saved up 110K for this guy. So I'm making a poll video. So if oh anybody wants God. to see some crazy polls on Super Stern, I know Dig says don't chase this guy, but me don't and chase, Stern don't chase, are gonna, be, are gonna be frolicking through a field, blowing dandelions, making wishes. Like we are, giant, all, we are all about giant it. Just made an <laughs> an important point as well. Does your wife know about your relationship with Ruin Stern? She does not. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be our next topic of conversation over dinner tomorrow, I'm sure. <laughs> We're just going to go for silence the entire night. And, uh, you know, I feel like there's a lot of marriages coming up tonight in our stream. Yeah, so I maxed out my Diabolos card when he came, when that came around. So, yeah. so I had that dark card ready for him. Yeah. Because I knew I was going to be going so hard on him. Him and Kane are definitely by far like the, my favorite two units that I'm trying to get. So, how upset would you be if you didn't get him? On a scale of one to 10, yeah. like an 11.5, probably. Okay. Like if they can go up that high. <laughs> would, you, would you quit the game? No. No. no I, love this, I love this community too much. I really like collaborating with all the different content creators and, and getting involved in their stuff. Like, it's, it's too much fun. Yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't quit, but I would be very heartbroken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just a shout out to about your podcast. I was on your podcast. What do you usually cover on your podcast? So my podcast is usually like upcoming stuff that's coming out. And I usually I like to grab a lot of the different content creators and feature the different content creators to sort of give them a little shout out and yeah. the different things that they do. And the more that I get to know all the different content creators, uh, the more I can actually pair different content creators together and we can have more than one person on the podcast at a time to actually talk about different stuff. So I like I like that aspect. I like that you're good so many different people on here because it actually lets me get to see like what different things that they've had on there like i've had aura on jay and stuff on on my podcast i think did well. you have prodigy too i haven't had prodigy yet i actually didn't see prodigy stuff until i think it was like the last um video of mine that i posted in your discord so oh, yeah. i go into your discord and i post my stuff i don't like to um just flood my discord with or your right. discord with right. my stuff like i yep. like to see who's on there and like if it's somebody new, I like to like wait a while before mm -hmm. I plug something in there so that they kind of get like seen for a while. I'm kind of considerate like that just because I don't want to I don't want to step on people's toes, but I also I also want everybody to be successful in this community right. because I want to see the community grow, you know. Yeah. So so I definitely got to hook up with Prodigy and do some PvP stuff. I would love to see a content creator cup. Yeah, but content creator cup that. would be super good. Because um... I know while I might not place first, I wouldn't place last. I would probably right. play last. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what are you most excited for content wise that's coming up? 
So other than the Super Stern, we've also in the shop, we've got all kinds of goodies coming up. For, yeah. for, for paid Vizior, we've also got like a UR select ticket. We've also got UR select ticket for shards. We've also got the, the vision card select ticket. We've also got the vision card select ticket shards. So those things are really excited. I'm, I'm excited about the shards ticket because... I'm gonna 99 my Gilgamesh off on this. Oh so if I, shit! So if I yeah, so if I 99 my Gilgamesh off on this, and then I pull Rune Knight Stern, I'm going Kasetsu um, Hazard Crash. Jesus so I'm gonna Christ! Lower, I'm gonna lower your resistance, and then I'm gonna lower your defense, and then I'm smacking you with a crap ton of damage. So that sounds that's, not that's, fun. That sounds <laughs> insanely awesome for me and fun in guild battle. So I'm looking forward to that the most. <laughs> if um, and then, if you and were then, to give advice to people for a unit of choice ticket, I advise Ayaka. Who would you advise? For okay, so not a limited time unit, obviously, because those right. are all packed. Because if I was to rank limited time units, I think Warrior of Light would definitely be on the top of my list. His the amount of hate generation that he can hold for a long time is just pretty stupid. Um, I would say invest in a tank with, um, if you're going the tank route, I would say invest in a tank with taunting spell. And the reason that I say this is because that taunting spell is something that doesn't cost a lot of AP and mm-hmm. will generate you a lot of AP. So if you don't have a warrior of light, getting someone like Whisper. Um, is really beneficial because she can use that, and and she and she's <laughs> offered that a lot. What are you gagging on me for? <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. She's also got she's also got a lot of resist. Dario is really yeah. great. Yeah, and and if you guys are gonna gonna boost a UR character, I vote Dario. I I really think Dario would be a good great remake. Uh, he's a nice little blonde boy who's definitely dead. I think. Wow. I don't think he's coming back. I really don't. <laughs> I, I'm tired in all these Final Spoilers! Fantasy games. Of all the characters that die come back. Like, like I've been playing Final Fantasy 14 since like before the calamity. And yep, the, the, yep. the fact when all these characters die and they bring it back, like that's why I like um oh my god, I'm I'm forgetting his name. No, I think I've had too much champagne. <laughs> we're we're gonna get some time travel shit and Dario and Sir O are gonna be coming back. Yeah. I'm just saying. I, I, yeah, I mean, I mean, Sir O, he he died a valiant death. I'm okay with him being dead. No. Dario, no. on the other hand, he can't leave his baby mama just sitting there Whoa. doing nothing. Whoa. Like, like nah. Venera's too good. Venera's too good, too waifu to Let, to be leaving there all by herself with a kid. Let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about the real conspiracy theory. Is Gilgamesh Sir O? No. Nah. So I played Final Fantasy Brave Exvius for a couple of years. And I, stopped, <laughs> and I stopped it. So I know I know about all the um the lords in, in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, but oh, I we, don't we think probably that... we probably shouldn't talk about that though, because yeah, we should. there there's a lot of people who probably don't know that lore, right? Yeah. So this it's is not it's not take... a spoiler, but there yeah, this is... is supposed to take well there might be, but there isn't. So it's like there's yeah. a lot of stuff that happens, and this is like supposedly a hundred couple hundred years yeah. before that's one content creator we don't have. We yeah. don't have a lore content creator. Yeah. A lore master who played Brave Exvius would be awesome. Yeah, we need a, yeah, we need a if lore you're, master. If you're out there I would and love to have that guy. Are a lore master, we want you. Um yeah, for sure. <laughs> Back to the anniversary. Uh, let's talk about the ribbon event. Uh, Trials of Reckoning. Yeah. So you... Trials of Reckoning looks awesome. I, I've been psyched for this event just because it's something totally brand new. Mm-hmm. It's something that we haven't had before. Um, the ranking systems are interesting in this one. So if you're a um, if you're a guild and you're trying to do this, you can get more rations for your, for your guild and um, guild coins on top of that. And the guild coins are nice right now. Like we've got extra shards that we can buy. We've got our, you know, statue offerings that we can we can get with those. And then you can also get pinks and yellows as far as um memories and stuff for your characters. Cause I mean, let's all be honest right now, like that new pink farming chamber split into three sucks. But they did like just the announce that-, that they're changing it. They better up the rates because yeah. it sucks. <laughs> yeah, they they just announced that they're uh, changing that. That they heard the community feedback, 
Um, yeah. And that they are upping the rate of the memory drops, specifically yeah. the job memory drops. So they need to do that because what I was finding before was when they were all in the same pool, yeah. even if I wasn't getting what I was wanting, at least I was getting stuff for other people that I wasn't trying to get. But mm -hmm. now when I'm trying to farm like one specific character even, like out of stuff that I don't have, because I'm like, oh, I've got all these characters maxed at like 15 to 15. I don't really need their jobs. I'm finding that like when I go through and I look, I'm like, all right, I need this one, this one, this one, this one. And they're all in different pools. Yeah. And, that, and that part of it is annoying to me and that there's no exchange rate um, is annoying. So unless you're going through and you're pulling tons of different URs and getting those MOG medals and able to, you know, just spend uh, your extra MOG medals on getting some of those pinks, it's really annoying to try and get those guys up to 15. Are we able to farm pink materials in the upcoming ribbon event? Is there going to be pink material <sighs> drops? There's not pink material drops, but you can with the guild um, getting bonus stuff, you know, with your guild medals, you'll be able to do that. that so that's that's why that's a little bit more significant. Um, and then for the individual rankings, you're able to get more Vizior. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. But I mean, there's there's a lot of people who go super hard on that. Of course, the whales are going to do better in that just for all the resets. And we're and, probably uh, going to get uh, we're having Diva on a little bit later tonight. And he's like world first everything when he yeah. tries to do it. And he's in chat right now. So <laughs> he's probably he, the number one he's guy like, is like right doing, here. Yeah, don't like doing, don't look at him. <laughs> Um, he did have a question, though. Does that comment about upping the rates differ from what JP has already done? Uh, I don't know, Diva. It's going to probably... Coder's probably going to have to tell us when it is actually out. Yeah, we follow suit in a lot of things that JP does. So it's like even this upcoming um, crafting thing where we were able to craft like all the way up to a plus three or a plus four or a plus five. Like that's already in JP. So it's like a, a lot of the stuff, if you're able to look ahead... Um, some of us are actually able to make JP accounts. I don't put anything into my JP account. I really don't play it a lot, but I do get on there just to see what kind of things are in the shop and what's going on in JP. But I'm not like super big because I'm really into global. I'm really into yeah. uh, you know what we're doing over here, and I like how we're switching things up a lot too. Whereas like you know we can we can just buy Ramza or things like that. Where I feel. Um, they're a little, they kind of like go through JP and then they're like, oh, well, we could do this to make more money in global or we could do this <laughs> to make the global players a little bit more happy since JP was so unhappy with this aspect of it. So it was like with the Trials of Reckoning, JP was really upset with how hard it was to get a plus five ribbon. Yep. So, so I mean, like you've really got to grind this event with characters that are bonuses. So... There are, I think it's Shadow Links, like Mont, Mashery, Mashery, Stern, Golden Stern, Super Sterns, Regular Stern, who give you bonus points for using them in this event. So those those characters are really key if you're trying to get that plus five golden ribbon to use those um, units. And if you can use those units in there to get as much as you you can get out of this, that's really um, a nice bonus for you to try and get that plus five uh, ribbon because. This ribbon is going to be really nice. It's one of the best evade items aside from like um, Elda's TMR that you yeah. can get in this game. I think um, there's a lot of people who are really excited for the event. And a lot of people have been asking for guides, but I've been reluctant to post a guide on it because I feel like because of the uh, like outrage that JP had, I feel like we might get some global changes to it. I think we'll definitely get some changes. I think it'll be a little bit easier for us. Um, it is the double-headed dragon, so you guys are all prepared for that. So you want to use dark units. Um, as far as what things work in JP on the double-headed dragon is... Um, so piercing units work really well against this guy. He's weak to piercing. Um, but aside from that, one of the things that work really well is he's he's weak to dark. So using Gilgamesh, if you have him, lowers the slashing resistance with his Kasetsu, and then you can go in there and lower his defense and, and things lower with things like Hazard Crash or even um, Orlando on Sid. So you can lower his defense with that sort of thing and then get that slashing damage going with your Dark Slashing. Um, so those are things that have worked really well. This Dracorn Spear that I believe ends today I was just about to say that. On it. Yeah. 
Wait, yeah, it so ends today. It doesn't end next week. Is that it? Is that full? Holy next shit! Week? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm getting. I I literally need my Drake's horn spear plus five, and I do not have everything to plus five it. So hold the phone. Who do you have for your spear user? Uh, you I am Victor? using Elda, and uh, oh, we have seven more days. Thank the Elda? Lord, we have seven more okay, days on so Drake's horn spear. Seven more days. Seven <laughs> more days on that farm. <laughs> Woo! Scare the shit out of me, my man. Thank you for that one. Yeah, so, hey, man. yeah, dude. I you, you already had it at plus five. <laughs> uh, I'm working on it. I have. I think I have the materials, but I just have to craft it. And okay. crafting it's going to be the worst. Crafting is the worst right now, especially when you have seven accounts and you're like, oh, I got to craft these five items on this other account to make it worth a damn yeah. and then you're like oh well there's this uh, there's this update coming out i might as well wait till that comes out <laughs> that's it exactly <laughs> like but then it's also like glacial is coming out and i want to have the crit spear for her like unless mm -hmm. she pulls an ildira and i don't get her because i don't have seven accounts like somebody in here um <laughs> it, it, i do not recommend it i 100 percent do not recommend running that many accounts it is more trouble than it's worth if if it wasn't for making the youtube videos for the community i wouldn't do it yeah like i would run like four is probably the max that i would run ever because at Jesus. least i can i can run like my, my own multis at that point and be right like, right whatever yeah that makes sense but yeah but it, it didn't. It wasn't enough to be able to pull on everybody. So yeah, the, the Drake's horn spear is a great piece of equipment for this event. Super, super good for this event. Yeah. Um, it's probably the only thing it's good for, honestly. Honestly, the dragon killer is the only thing that the Drake horn spear yeah. is good for. Is the and killer. do we know that he's classified as a dragon even? Because I he's know like if classified Ifrit... as an Esper and a dragon. Interesting. So do you know if it's like regular Brave Exvius where if they're classified as two different types, they only take half the damage? from uh like dragon killer and stuff I'm i don't know that i clear on that we'll yeah. test that out on this yeah because i know in brave xvs that's the way it worked was they were cla they took half the damage yeah i didn't like a lot of the stuff in brave xvs don't well, even I mean. get me started on <laughs> FFB, especially the arenas <laughs> yep yep um so this is the the ribbon events basically like a solo raid right it's a, yeah it's definitely a solo raid um it's a solo raid with bonus units. Uh, very similar to Brave Exvius. Goes Glacia come before the ribbon event? Glacia does not come before the the the, uh, the ribbon event. Something from chat. Glacia is yeah. actually coming after Super Stern, so she'll yep. be the next. Is she's, she the next? She's two weeks, because we have two Fen weeks. Fenrir is coming two. next week. Oh, potentially. Fenrir. No, oh, sorry, oh, oh, oh. I think she's three. No, because she comes with Laswell, right? One, two, three, four. Four weeks? No, three, she's three uh, or four weeks out. I think she right might now, be two weeks. No, I think she might be two weeks. Cause Glacia, or you, maybe they. Do you do you think they'll separate Glaciella and Laswell? Oh, Laswell so comes later than Glaciella. Yeah, Glace, Yeah, Laswell is later. He's on a different banner. Okay, so then Glaciella is two weeks That's from a today. W R banner. Yeah, Glaciella yeah. is two weeks from today. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Ooh, I have so many mixed feelings about Fenrir. There's so there's so many things in this game that I want as far as vision cards go at this point. Uh huh. That I don't necessarily want to keep pulling on characters. So like for my main account, because I'm going so hard on Stern. Yep. Which I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm sorry, guys. It's just gonna getting, happen. It's gonna. I'm getting <laughs> Rune Knight's turn. So if you guys want to see an easy pull on Rune Knight's turn, check out my videos. Uh, the, I'm him. the ribbon event will be starting tomorrow. By the way, for those yeah, that asked in the, chat, the ribbon starts. So as soon as Ifrit's over, we get another event that's gonna be grinding us up. Like they are giving us no <laughs> breaks, none whatsoever. Like if you guys, like I get a lot of questions on how do you farm so many mats and stuff. Yep. And honestly, like I look at um. What's the website? Is that Votive? It's not uh, Votive. It's, uh... it's the FF. It's votivetools.gitcub.io. That's so I love pl Coder's I love website, this. I believe. Yeah, I love plugging this thing because it gives you, you can go ahead and look at all the different stuff that you want to build. And I go in there and I look ahead and I'm like, all right, well, I want to eventually build like this ice brand for my Gilgamesh or whatever, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I'll, 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 when a, when a event like the, these ones come up that are right now, I look ahead and I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to farm these mats on this, even though I don't plan on building this item in that way, when it, when it comes time to where I've got enough um, recipes to go ahead and build that boom, like I'll bump it up. 
so I get I get questions on that because I just did a video where I was um, showing off the um, the pack for crafting stuff like yep. that seven that seven ninety nine yep. pack. So I was like, oh, like okay, hoard, well, I'm gonna hoard through. until you get that right. Yeah. So like I hoard I hoarded like six or seven items. Like I even went through and did like my crimson saber and leveled it up just so like I knew it was there, but I didn't use any any yep. uh, seals or anything on it. And then I reset it and did it and did it in that video. And there was. There was so much stuff. Like I was maxing out Raz Al Gethi. Like if there's anything that I do recommend as far as those packs go, it's definitely that. Um, that pack was insane. I maxed out so much stuff on that video. I was just like, what? Well, I think it's important to note with the anniversary coming up starting tomorrow too, uh, the plus 10 hard quest pack with the mm -hmm. double shard drops is ridiculous. Yep. Like that's ridiculous value. Um, yeah, so if you pull Stern or plan on pulling for Stern, this week is the week that you want to try and get that in because you won't have to spend as much on shards when you're buying that. Um, I think you've got to have like a higher royal rank and actually to go ahead and do that. But if you reset that, like that first time you're getting like quarter price, you know, Stern shards, you're getting two on the first one. After your, you know, 50 Vizior reset, you're getting two more. And then it's 100 Vizior for that third reset. And then you're you're able to get. I mean, those are still. I mean, if you're cost. if you're doing the, uh, right? you're getting two of them. Um, if you're doing like the Gilgamesh or the Ruin Stern shards, that's over half off on those shards with the double drops that are going on this week for the shards. Like that's yeah. like ridiculous value if you are leveling those units. So, um, yeah, even with sure. the resets. So. Yeah, and I'm and I'm proud to say that I did get my Gilgamesh all the way to 99 at half price or lower. And some of it was hey! paid your but so <laughs> um, that was an accomplishment for me. Question from chat from Ikatsu. Uh, shout out to Ikatsu and his wife, Kitty. Uh, does this weak shard thing allow you to do more quests per unit? It does not. It gives you plus mm -mm. 10 quests. So for example, I'm leveling a bunch of MR units on the side. Plus I get the double shards because it's double shard week. Um, I'm going to be getting plus six instead of getting plus three. Um, it essentially doubles what I would be getting normally. So it's like a huge value gain. Yeah. Yeah. So the in game thing is the double hard quest is actually, so it's giving you twice as many shards. So if you're doing like an MR character, instead of getting the plus three, when you do it three times, you're getting plus six shards. So you can get all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And it's particularly good if you're building your account wide and not tall. Um, mm -hmm. So like for content creators like me or for King Esper, uh, it's a huge value, uh, particularly if we're investing in like MR units across to seven accounts or <laughs> <laughs> any, anything like that. Um, is there anything else you would recommend from the anniversary Esper? Ooh, I mean, there's so many stuff coming out and it's like, there's things that I can't foresee. So yeah. as far as the banners go, that's what I'm most interested in seeing is what our banners differ as far as the banners that actually came out in JP. Like I've, I've noticed we've gotten a, like a lot of, um, 25% chance, like one in four characters, like you yep. might get this fun of fantasy tactics character, which I hate those things to be quite frank because <laughs> I've done all of them and none of them have given me what I actually wanted. I sure didn't get Aldira from that. Uh, yeah, well, I've had a lot of guildmates who have gotten like everything from it. Like they've yeah. done the step up for those. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just like, why am why why do we come like I see them do it and I'm like, oh sweet, you guys got Shiva from this and you weren't even trying to get her. Yep. I'm yep. gonna totally get that. Nope. Nope. Esper does not get Shiva. It's the one thing I do not have. <laughs> do you really not Shiva. have Shiva? I don't have Shiva yet. On I've any of your accounts. Anything. Well, I've got Shiva on, on other accounts, but not I mean on my you're gonna you're gonna need. get her pulling for Golden Stern, right? You think I'm gonna get Shiva? No, <laughs> no, no Shiva. She's never gonna get Shiva. She's gonna elude me till the day that we hit the one year anniversary, and then I'm gonna get her. <laughs> I we're gonna get some shit for the one year anniversary because did you see the rewards we're getting from Hiroki? Like, oh. like I thought it was a typo. Like I, honest I, to God, I thought too. it was a typo. 
So that's just a login bonus. So we're not only getting like 15 skip tickets a day, like all yeah. the extra stuff that we're getting just yeah. for logging in, like the, the 2K Viz, I was like, all right, well, that's pretty nice. And right. then it was like all that magic site and all the books and all that. Like, the gill, 80 million gill? It's going to be the first yeah. time I'm over 100K ever. Yeah, well, I had just farmed like super hard because I was spending so much on like, because I, I didn't want Sid. Like I did that one one out of four step up and like I got Ramza and Sid and I already had Ramza maxed out and then they gave me Sid. And I already had like 120 shards for Sid. So I was like, all right, you know, this character is OP enough that I'm actually just going to max him out. All right, let me... So let me, I ended up spending so much on him. Let me ask you a question. Uh, with that right. 80 million gil, are you at all tempted just to do 80 of those gil pulls and dump it all into the gil pulls and see how many shards you can get? Out of out of like the out of the daily thing, yeah. Like uh, go and uh, go and spend all of that eighty million gill doing the one million gill polls. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of tempted. I'm kind of tempted to go and do that uh, because you know, I... ruin star ruin stern shards are going to be featured on it, right? With an increased rate. Yeah. So hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm more. I've got so many things that need to get maxed out. Like, I hate to say it, but I've got, like, 12 or 14 UR characters. It might be worth it for you if you have that many UR characters, right? Yeah, but why do I need the shards? I need the gill if it max out their skills. But, I mean, they're not like they're leveled. They're not leveled, though, so you don't need to max out their <laughs> skills. That gill's just going to sit there. True. If I could get... If I if I see a really nice up on, on Rune Knight's turn, that might be tempting. Yeah, yeah. I... I that mean, might be tempting. Who wouldn't want to see a hundred million gill pull video, right? Hey, you uh, know what? <laughs> I say we have like a, a forty mil. I say we do like a fifty mil like gills pull off. Oh, we'll we should do more. it. We <laughs> should do it and see off. who gets more ruined stern shards. All right, All I am right. totally I'm down, for that. down for that. Oh my I'm god, down. man! So cheers. you're you're cheers saying to cheers to that? You're saying you're committing uh, fifty million gill. I've got and 130 right now, so another 80. Yeah, I'm willing to do 50. I'm willing to pull I'm, 50 on that. I'm down for that. Heaven. Is this like All one right. of those situations where you're going to make me pull first and then you're not going to do it? <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. I'll be like, sorry, dude, I already maxed out my Rune Knights turn. I don't need I, to do I, it anymore. You know. <laughs> 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 oh, all right as per we are at the end of your time uh we are going to transition right. um to bismarck as our next guest you guys uh, i don't know if bismarck is ready right now he is working on the war of the vision calc website trying to update it for you guys so that we can show it off on stream if he is oh. not go ahead tell bismarck that he needs to do characters more in advance than what he's doing did you know you can see all the characters on the jp side of it you can yeah you can fun fact guys for those of you that don't know uh you can change if you go up to the little english tab on the upper right hand corner on war the vision calc.com you just change it to jp and then you english translate and you can see literally all the characters in jp that are coming look at all that's the people all the people in chat are like what <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a hell of a tip because i went through and i like made like my own little like what you need to get for stern and stuff because that was nah that was yeah you can totally do that and they're even oh. in they're even in the builder and they have all the jp espers all the jp cards as well i want to give a shout out to um christmas marshare oh yeah because you guys were kind of putting her down when who is it keith was on here to like, yes she, so he's <laughs> so he's <laughs> she's got a move that gives other characters AP so no matter what the meta is ever she's the only character that does that so for you to be able to cast a spell on somebody else and actually give them AP is always going to make her relevant and she's a piercing character so she'll fit into the meta I think so too uh, King Esper can you tell chat one more time uh, where they can see you at and uh, so they can go ahead. They can find me on YouTube and we're trying to build up this channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs so that I can do this more full time and bring you guys a ton more content, which is at King Esper comics on YouTube. And you can also find me at King underscore Esper on Twitch. We are going on there. 
I'm definitely doing every Friday. We're we're doing our stream on the tail end of you, my friend, Dr. Diggs. There you go. So the last the last hour of your stream, I'm actually recording a YouTube um, video for that first 30 minutes. And then uh, we go into a stream where we cover some and Guild then Wars last stuff time I rated you. Last time I rated you and you were in the middle of a YouTube video and couldn't respond. I was. <laughs> I was. I was just like, I was on like the last couple of minutes of it. I was just like, no, I got to hold it together. I got to hold it together. This is not happening right now. I can't respond to all these people who are rating in my channel. So, all right. yeah, that was pretty awesome. I thanks for that. All right, you guys, uh, King Esbert, thank you for much for uh, being on the show. Not sure if Bismarck is going to be a few minutes or not, guys. If he is, I'll come back on for you. But if he isn't ready, we are going to give it like five minutes, take a little bit of a break, and then Div will come on instead. So thank you so much again, Esper, and uh, we're going to go ahead and transition to the uh, waiting screen. All right, man. Happy sixth anniversary, everybody. Enjoy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah.